Okay, here we're going to turn the display on. And the first thing you're going to see is the little green light turn on on the bottom left corner, and then the display will pop on. Now you see that it says ND280, but everything else is uh, in a different language. That's because uh, this did internal testing at the factory before it was shipped out to you. So yours may actually come in a different language. That is okay. This is the language button right here. Just press it and continually press it until you see your language come up. And I speak English, so I want it to say English. There we go. Now everything's in English. All right. It says the power was off. Press any key to continue. I'll press clear to continue, and here's the display. Now you'll notice that it says reference mark evaluation on X1. It's actually asking me to cross the reference point. You can see here I'm moving my gauge, and it's not actually doing anything until I pull it far enough that it crosses the reference mark. And there it starts counting. That's an option that can be turned on or turned off, depending upon the type of Heidenheim gauge that you have. Now this display will run 11 microamp, 1 volt peak to peak, and NDAT encoders. NDAT encoders are Heidenheim's absolute encoders, which do not have a reference mark. Now the, I already showed you the 11 microamp connector. This is the 1 volt peak to peak connector. You notice it has 12 pins. You can tell based on your connector what type of signal that you have plugged into it. Now, I want to show you a couple features on this. If I go to setup, I can change my unit of measure here. This says whether or not it's going to boot up by default in inch or metric. I had it set to inch. I just press that inch millimeter button and it switches to metric. Or press it again, it switches back to inch. And I like things in inch. All right, scale factor. That is if you actually want to set this up for shrinkage or growth of a part. If you want to enlarge it, have it read larger than it, than it actually is. Maybe uh, you're compensating for temperature. You can do that right here. The value set for your datum point. This is going to be the value that you actually preset whenever you go to a datum point. If you want it to zero every time you press the clear key, that's where you're going to put that. Now you may have purchased this counter or you may be considering purchasing it as a replacement for the ND280 series. The ND280 was discontinued and is now being replaced with this one. This one has many more features in the ND280, but it will plug in to your existing cables using an adapter cable. This adapter cable right here, it has the end to plug into the display, and it also has an end to plug into your earlier model 11 microamp scales. It plugs into the back of the display, just like this, and your existing 11 microamp coming out of your gauge or your scale will plug right into here. And if we can turn that right back around again. I'm currently using a, a Heidenhein MT60K, that's a 60 millimeter long metro gauge. Now you can see that the display is currently on zero. As I pull the plunger in and out, it's not registering. You see this REF is blinking. That's because it's waiting for you to reference. There, it just found the reference mark. Now it knows exactly where it is in space, and you can actually turn the readout off and back on again. You can even unplug the, the gauge, and it will remember right back where it was.